bonuses, and it's much wider than Stephen Hester. Uh, yeah. Sorry, is that me? It's Gary, so, sorry. Uh, uh, no, I'm not uh, Gary O'Donoghue. I'm Sean Dilley from UTV oh, sorry, Media. I'm, I'm I have sorry. a guide dog, though, I so apologize. it's similar. That's all right. I'm okay. Um, my Gary's and my Ed's. And... Indeed. Uh, Mr. Miliband, can I ask you, you talk of George Osborne and David Cameron's deceit. These are strong words. Are they liars? And also, to be clear on the rate of VAT, 20% is high whether you cut now or in the future. So will you commit to cutting or bringing that down if elected, sir? My mother taught me never to call anyone a liar, so I'm not going to. Look, I think that they are practising a deceit. Uh, and I think they're practicing a deceit, <laughs> and, and they are practicing a deceit, deceit about the past to make a to, to justify a series of ideological judgments about the future, and they are the wrong judgments about the future. And that's why I'm talking about this because I think if it was just an argument about Labour's record, you might say, and I might think, well, look, why do we need to have an argument about the record? My concern about this is about what it means for the future of, of this country. And I'm not going to make a promise on VAT because I think that this Conservative-led government has made a series of promises which they are breaking. One of the things that we have to do is restore people's faith in politics and not make promises that we can't keep. 